Grace, mercy and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And also with you. Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest heaven. Hosanna to the Son of David, the King of Israel. Hosanna in the highest. Good evening everyone, my name is Ross Wilson. I'm the rector here at St John's Orangefield in East Belfast. And my name is Sonia Wilson. I'm one of the lay readers here. Together we want to welcome you to this service of evening prayer, drawing from the Church of Ireland's Week of All Weeks, a prayer book for Holy Week. In this service, Sonia will be speaking out the responses, many of which may be familiar to you. And if so, we invite you to speak out those responses with her. As always, though, let's remember that although we can't gather face to face for worship at this time, we can gather in spirit. And we do so in the presence of God's Holy Spirit, who is just as much with us whether we're worshipping at home on our sofa as he is when we meet in our church building here. So let's pause, take a moment of silence and turn our hearts to his living presence now. Brothers and sisters in Christ, today begins this week of all weeks. This is the week in which we follow our Saviour Jesus Christ on the way of suffering to the cross and on the way of victory through the cross to the resurrection. Today we gather with the crowds on the road to Jerusalem to greet our Lord as he begins his journey, to sing his praise and to welcome him to his city. We rejoice with all our hearts and voices in the knowledge that if we do not speak out his praises, the stones themselves will sing. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth will proclaim your praise. Let's take some time to worship in song now. If you know the words, sing out. And if you don't, let the words and music minister to you. pray for a closer union with Christ in his suffering and in his glory. We pray a collect for Psalm Sunday. Almighty and everlasting God, who in your tender love towards the human race, sent your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, to take upon him our flesh 
and to suffer death upon the cross. Grant that we may follow the example of his patience and humility and also be made partakers of his resurrection through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Your word is a lantern to my feet and a light upon our path. O Lord, your word is everlasting. It stands firm forever in the heavens. Let us then receive the word of the Lord. So may the light of your presence shine into our hearts. Our psalm this evening is some verses from Psalm 118. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, his mercy endures forever. Let Israel now proclaim, his mercy endures forever. Open to me the gates of righteousness, that I may enter and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord, the righteous shall enter through it. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, his mercy endures forever. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me and have become my salvation. The stones which the builders rejected have become the chief cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvellous in our eyes. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endures forever. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Come, O Lord, and save us, we pray. Come, O Lord, send us now prosperity. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endures forever. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God. He has given us light. Link the pilgrims with cords right to the horns of the altar. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endures forever. You are my God and I will thank you. You are my God and I will exalt you. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endures forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. Christ humbled him himself and became obedient unto death, even death on a cross. Therefore God has highly exalted him, and given him the name that is above every name, Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. The Passion of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Matthew chapter 21, beginning at verse 1. As they approached Jerusalem and came to Bethpage on the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go to the village ahead of you, and at once you will find a donkey tied there, with her colt by her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, say that the Lord needs them, and he will send them right away. This took place to fulfil what was spoken through the prophet. Say to daughter Zion, See, your king comes to you, gentle and riding on a donkey, and on a colt the foal of a donkey. The disciples went and did as Jesus had instructed them. They brought the donkey and the colt and placed their cloaks on them for Jesus to sit on. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, while others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road. The crowds that went ahead of him and those that followed shouted, Hosanna to the Son of David! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord! Hosanna in the highest! When Jesus entered Jerusalem, the whole city was stirred and asked, Who is this? The crowds answered, This is Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth in Galilee. This is the passion of the Lord. If you would like to watch a short talk based on tonight's gospel reading, then you'll find the video link alongside the link to this service. So I invite you to do that. Let's take some time to worship in song again. And if you know the words, again, sing out wherever you are. If you don't, just let the words and music minister to you.
In the darkness we are away Without hope and without light Till from heaven you came running There was mercy in your eyes To fulfill the law and prophets To a virgin king of earth From a throne of endless glory Through a cradle in the Praise the Father. 
firm our faith now by declaring the Apostles' Creed together. I believe, I believe in God, God the Father, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died and was buried. He descended, he descended to, to the, the dead. dead. On, On the, the third day, day he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the dead body, and the life everlasting. Amen. In our intercessions this evening, we use prayers specifically written for this holy day. Lord Jesus, on this day you entered into Jerusalem to fulfil your Father's will. Give us grace to enter into your will and purpose for our lives. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord Jesus, on this day you began a journey which would lead to pain and suffering. Give grace to those who are on difficult journeys in their own lives. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord Jesus, on this day you received the welcome and acclamation of the crowds. Keep us pure in heart when we receive praise and encouragement. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord Jesus, on this day you rode in humility on a donkey. Keep us from exalting ourselves and make us humble in everything we do. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord Jesus, on this day, the people sang praise with all their strength. Make our praises joyful, but always from the depth of our hearts. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord Jesus, on this day, the cold jealousy of the Pharisees is exposed, as they want the people to stop. Forgive us when the praise of others shows up our coldness of heart. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord Jesus, on this day you said the very stones might sing your praise. Give us such a reverence for your creation that we may sing our praises in harmony with all that you have made. Lord, hear us. 
Lord, graciously hear us. Lord Jesus, on this day you wept for the peace of Jerusalem, your beloved city. We pray for the peace of that holy place and for peace in our own towns and cities. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord Jesus, on this day, many did not recognize that they were being visited by the Son of God. Open our hearts and minds that we may recognize you in all your words, works and ways. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. In offering our prayers this Palm Sunday, we commit ourselves to follow you on the way to the cross, in the knowledge that this way is none other than the way of life and peace. Lord Jesus, be our way. Lord Jesus, be our truth. Lord Jesus, be our life this holy week and forever. Amen. Amen. And as our Saviour Christ has taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. So as we conclude this time together, may the Father who so loved the world, he gave his only Son, bring you by faith to his eternal life. Amen. May Christ, who accepted the cup of sacrifice in obedience to the Father's will, Keep you steadfast as you walk with him the way of his cross. Amen. And may the Spirit, who strengthens us to suffer with Christ, that we may share his glory, set your minds on life and peace. Amen. And may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Walk with Christ this week in the way of his cross and resurrection. Thanks be to God. Thank you for joining with us in worship today. We look forward to joining with you again throughout this Holy Week, leading up to Easter Sunday next Sunday. Every morning at 10, we'll be posting a short reflection on this Facebook page. We will be meeting through Zoom and as we connect in other ways. Keep in touch and see you next time. God bless you and keep you. God bless.